I'm Andrea, that's Alejo, and those are our pairs, Ozzy and Echo. We left the corporate world in Miami to become digital nomads and chase the wind kiteboarding. Join us as we sail an adventure in our dream home, Hakuna. We're here in South Carolina. We've been on the marina for a month. And this is our daily routine on the morning. We go out, walk the dog, and, and yeah, and then we head out, we head back to the boat. We do whatever we need to be doing in the boat, boat work, you know, washing the boat, checking things on the boat, or working. We have Wi-Fi in the marina, which is good. So we could work. And what else? What else? Do you have to say something for the camera? Um, Excuse me, miss. Excuse me, miss. Do you have anything for the camera, miss? Do you have something no. for the camera? No. No, nothing. We're about to head out and sail down south to Florida, but it turns out there's another storm coming and the waves are going to be pretty big and it was just not recommended to go out today or tomorrow or Monday or Tuesday and luckily we called the marina and they told us that we have the month paid until the 18th. So that's good news. It had been a month since we'd been living on the boat at the marina, and every day we were all getting more used to the boat life. The dogs were enjoying the dinghy rides, and we had established a daily routine. But we were ready to get moving. We wanted to head to Florida and experience the realities of living on a boat. Are you making delicious taquitos? We enjoyed our last days in the marina watching dolphins every day, but aside from that, we made sure to have everything ready for our soon to come passage. We have the best spot in the marina. Like, that's the marina over there. And we have the spot where we look out to like the bay. And we have dolphins that come here literally every day. Like right now, we were, we're, we're, they're still around here. There's one over there. They're like hunting. They come here every morning. Right, let's do it. There's two, three. Since we're talking about dolphins, guys, I want to take advantage and invite you guys not to go to SeaWorld or any other aquarium for that matter. So there are spots like this one, Hilton Head Island. I saw another one in Florida, North Captiva Island, where you have dolphins, where you can literally see them every single day. And it's so awesome because you don't have first, first awesome thing. You don't have to pay to go in there. Second awesome thing, you don't support having animals in captivity. Who, it's a dolphin, you know? Dolphins swim thousands of miles or hundreds, maybe I'm too exaggerated, but at least hundreds of miles every single day. And when you guys, or we, or I, anyone, goes to SeaWorld or any of those aquariums, you're just supporting that they're in tiny pools, just like if you were stuck in a cage. So it really sucks. And if you love animals as much as I do, you make the animal's well-being a priority. So your happiness doesn't come before the animal's well-being. With your money, you're supporting whatever you pay for. So if you go to SeaWorld, you're paying for having a dolphin in captivity. You're depriving that animal from its happiness, from being a wild animal, from being able to swim thousands and thousands and thousands of miles. Obviously, they have to get those dolphins from somewhere. So they go to places like Japan, where they could just hunt them, take them, and sell them to aquariums. So they just don't, they're not born there. Some of them are, but that's not how it starts. And many of them are not, so they're taken from the wild. 
just don't go there. Don't support those places. Come here, come to Hilton Head, come to North, go to North Captiva, go to, I don't know, wherever you wanna go. Look. And this guy that was clean, that was going by yesterday, right? Yes. Uh, he cleans boats and stuff. He does like that for a living. Yeah. And he gave you some tips on how to polish the stainless steel and how to actually make it. So this is the before. That's the before. And this is the after. It's pretty shiny. Ooh. I can totally tell, baby. He said to put the cream on the stainless steel, leave it for a second, and then clean it with a rag or a toothbrush. And then just take a paper towel and polish it. Yep, the product that he's using right now is this one. And it's working out pretty good. Yeah, right? Are you happy with the results? Yeah. Are we out? Yeah, we're out. Thank you, friend. We started heading to Savannah, Georgia, and although the ocean was pretty smooth, the wind was really bad. Most of the way, we only had two knots of wind, so we had to motor our way there. All of a sudden, we had 10 knots of wind, and we were so excited to sail that we put all our sails up, but the wind only lasted about 20 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna... Where is it? 
El traveler, el traveler. <laughs> After finally arriving to Savannah, Georgia, we were so excited to get there. It was our first passage and it had been a total success. We anchored the boat in a bay and headed to the nearest beach to take the dogs out. Baja, sube el motor. No, un poquito más. Espérate, Osi, espérate. Ahí ya, súbelo. Suelo, suelo. Espérate, Osi, está ahí. Está ahí, Osi. Ya. Ok, jump, go. Good boy, jump. Echo, go. Good girl. Por acá, come. Good girl. Good boy. It was a long day. It was eight hours. Uh, there was absolutely no wind when we started. We had like four knots, and we're like, okay, it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. Never got better. It actually went up for a little bit for like to like nine knots. And then it just went down to three knots, two knots, until there was absolutely no wind. And so we literally had to motor our way here the whole day. It was eight long hours, but we finally made it. That's the boat. I don't know if you guys can see it from there, but it's way over there. We anchored. It was pretty good. First time anchoring. We did a good job. The craziest thing just happened. Like we woke up to a huge storm. It was like 50 to 60 knots out there. And and we woke up, we're like freaking out, just making sure all the hatches are closed and everything. And all of a sudden, like one of the cushions from the front must have ripped and it just flew out. And like there was no way to go out because like literally we would fly out too. So it was crazy. Now it's just getting calm. And we are gonna try to look for it because we're gonna get out of our cushion. Shit. That sucks. Do you think we can find it? No, we're just gonna keep it up here. We lost one of our cushions. Cuenta la historia. 
me estaba limpiando como a 50 nudos y empezó a volar todo para la mierda. Oh so scary. Imagínate donde no lo puedo pensar, donde es con la de la tira. Pudo haber sido más grave, pues se nos pudo haber volado todos los coches. Good morning everyone, so it is day two of our sailing adventure trip to Florida. Uh, first night we didn't sleep at all, like at all. So we were used to sleeping in a marina where it barely, the boat barely moves. And here, although we, like, we anchored at a small bay, it's not small. We anchored at a bay, but it's not a small bay. Uh, it was, it like moved a lot and anything, I like it would move and we would just wake up. And it was just that feeling like our subconscious was working the whole night just thinking like what if the anchor is moving? What if, you know, the boat's moving and we're gonna end up at land or something. So we were freaking out the whole week, the whole night. And then the next, that following day, we woke up to the biggest storm ever, ever. It was horrible. It was like 50 and 60 knots. So strong. And unfortunately, it like ripped one of our cushions and it just flew out. And we looked and like you couldn't see anything. Like you could see your arms, like, like you couldn't see anything at all. It was really scary. Then we tried going out to look for it on the dinghy. We, we pulled the drone to see if we could find it. Nothing at all. So I was really bummed for that. I really like the cushions. We just need to figure out a way to find the same fabric and make it again. But, you know, whatever. It's part of it. Um, then we spent yesterday the whole day here because the, the waves seem pretty big. It was just a rough day overall yesterday. So today we woke up and it was, it's kind of sunny, it's windy. We have like 15 to 20 knots just going up and down. It'd be great for hiding, but. Um, so we just decided to, we just decided to head out and hopefully we can just sail a little bit today and advance a little bit more. Um, if it's really rough out there, we'll just make a U-turn and come back here. So, that's the plan. Sounds like a plan. Does it sound like a plan? So yeah, that's pretty much it. I can tell like it's going to be pretty rough out there. Miren quién está María, se nos mareó, se nos mareó, se nos mareó, Dios mío, está muerta, se nos mareó también. Bueno, vamos bien, vamos ahí, evitando un bajo. Crazy thing just happened. Like we were literally just I was just editing videos and Alejo was just making orders and stuff and then out of nowhere the anchor alarm just beeps and we look back and we're like literally against the grass over there we're like literally on top of it like at least i don't know two three feet away i would say we were super close so right now we're trying to anchor again clearly that didn't work out so never trust your anchor Yeah, but where? No sé. Nos anclamos más para allá. No sé. Pero, ¿se pone aquí no puede anclar en clay o no? No sé, sí. Es como un 
mud is sand in the middle. Yeah, right? That's weird. Maybe you just didn't grab proper deer chips. You got it? O sea, yo me vi montar en esa vaina. Moral of the story never leave your boat until you've been in the boat for at least like two hours and you know that this thing is not going anywhere and it's actually not moving. Otherwise, you could end up on a tree on the grass. Or four, I can't remember anymore. Of the passage. And we got Ozzy here. We got our sails up. We have like 18 knots, I think. Anyway, Alejo's gonna try trolling. See if he catches something. And hopefully, the waves are going to be not as bad. And we need to, we have our appointment for the bottom paint on the 27th. We might have to change it because we have like 280 nautical miles to cover and we're still like literally in Georgia. Like, we have like 16 to 18 knots of wind and we're going at like 4, 4.5 knots. Today. I'll show you how look good it is. Oh, it's so perfect. We are going on a close haul. Close haul? I think so. And we are. The waves are not as bad as they were yesterday, but we still haven't gotten out of the bay area. We're still like a little bit covered. Wave! Anyway, hopefully the waves just stay like this. We have to go in here and yeah. Last night we had a pretty good sleep. We stayed in a, it was sort of a river. It was sort of a river, so it was pretty covered all around. So it was nice. It was nice, the boat didn't move as much. Yeah. We had a good sleep. Uh, this morning though, the dogs didn't want to go out to pee on the grass that we have for them. We normally put it on the trampolines, but whatever. But they didn't want to go. They We had to like get all wet, go on the dinghy, take them somewhere. Then we got here and there was poop on top of the grass. But you know what? It's the hassle of having dogs. That's the thing of having dogs. other youtubers Jesus. so how was your experience today? today it was like the fourth day of our sailing tour tour sailing tour? trip <laughs> to florida how was it baby here it wasn't that like rough we went out to sea it was yeah, really, really rough, rough. <laughs> so we, we, we made a u-turn <laughs> into the intercoastal yeah. and then we just sailed through the intercoastal and it wasn't that bad yeah it was just longer, yeah. but it wasn't bad. But the dogs are really tired. Yeah. They're both exhausting. Um, we are also tired. Yeah, we're so tired. So we made it to the anchor. We left like early this morning, started sailing like they around eight. 8. And we got to the anchor. It was five. Five. 5. It was a long day. Hoping, hoping we can actually make it sometime, right? 
We'll see. Yeah, what are you doing now? Other watching, watching YouTube. YouTubers. Other sailing other channels. Other sailing channels that on we YouTube. enjoy watching on YouTube. <laughs> and we just had dinner. Oh, I made really good lunch for you. Maybe what did I make for you? She made some nachos. Nachos. With a lot of things. <laughs> we're running out of food. Uh, I Maybe right now we're running out of food? Yes. We're gonna have to start fishing too. <laughs> if we want to eat, we have to fish. <laughs> but the problem is that we don't have to fish. <laughs> and we're not catching anything at all, right? Like we leave it there. So anyone has tips for fishing? We have no idea how to fish. We tried Googling, but it didn't work out, right? No. <laughs> Anyways, that's the story for today. That's it. Peace. It was really shallow. That's exactly where we couldn't go. And the phone was supposed to be turning left, but it kept turning right. And Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to stay up to date with future videos. See you next week.